Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. I wanted to make this really quick. I basically wanted to do a video on um, celebrating me mediocrity because um, it's easier than striving for for excellence. What I'm noticing with the Western world, especially when I look at social media and stuff, people, because of their low self-esteem, because of the amount of attention they desire, because of the lack of wanting to take accountability, because they don't want to grow up. Um, excuse me. People are letting all kinds of things distract them from working on themselves. So they hypersexualize themselves. They cover themselves with extensive amounts of makeup. They put 50 bundles of weave in their head. They, uh, are always going shopping for designer bags and clothing. They're doing all of these things that are distractions. Like you got big people talking about they're curvy. Now, if you are comfortable in your skin and plus sized, you don't want to exercise, you don't want to eat healthy, you don't give a fuck, that's fine. But don't lie and talk about you're curvy. You know what I'm saying? Like, be honest with yourself. Either that's the state that you're comfortable with being in and you want to stay that way. Or instead of pretending like you're you're proud of it, be honest. Be like, look, I've crash dieted. It hasn't worked. I'm in a space now where I really want to try to do the right thing with my health. And sometimes, and at different points in everyone's life, we've all needed help. That doesn't make you a bad person, but don't try to put it on this facade of I'm curvy and take me as I am and this is it and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like, oh, my nose is itching, y'all. It's dry in here. I put a little castor oil on it. I'm going to wash my face in a little bit. It's it's late here. It is 1.52 in the morning, uh, Saturday morning to be exact, on the 24th, and it's really, really dry in my apartment. Um, and it's making my, my, um, the outer part of my nose is making it super itchy. But anyway, um, going back to what I was saying is that, you know, people's mediocrity is being celebrated. It's being splashed all over Instagram. It's being interwoven through all these reality TV shows. We think we're watching stuff simply for entertainment. And the next thing you know, you're repeating a lot of this foolishness in your everyday life you know, trying to act like you don't know why it's happening, but, you know, you've become a part of the story that you watch unfold on television. And I think that's something that we have to think about. Like, everybody has something that we all need to improve upon. Everyone needs to exercise. Everyone needs to try to eat better. I don't care if you're, like, vegan or raw, you might need to juice more. You might need to try, look into water or dry fasting. You might need to exercise more. You might need to eat less kale chips and raw desserts and eat more fruit smoothies and salads. You know, if you're a meat eater, you might want to scale back on eating the meat and eat more vegetables. If you're a vegetarian, you might want to scale back on eating a lot of starchy stuff and dairy and eggs. You know, there's always something in life that we have to look at figure out how we're going to tweak it to make ourselves a better person. Reveling in mediocrity is a distraction and it really is counterproductive and will get you nowhere and life will pass you by this way. And that's all I wanted to say. Peace.